Hello my wonderful pair bears and welcome back to Gaming with Shelly and of course we are starting off the gaming season with a brand new challenge and that of course is going to be the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. This challenge was created by the beautiful um, Katie. Um, I found it on Pinterest and therefore found the basic rules for it on her Tumblr account so I will link her in the description. It's Planet Katerade. Read, read, read. Okay, well, I'm going to tag her anyways in the description for you guys so you can be able to have a look at these rules yourselves and, of course, um, build your own story with your beautiful sim. We are starting off, of course, with um, the beautiful Daisy. And here is what the basic rules are going to be for Gen 1. I'll pop a little uh, thing up on the screen now for you. So, without a home, but not without love. Our story begins, as most stories do, with endurance. You are homeless. You've gone in, out into the world with nothing but a tent and a dream. As a child, you never had your own home. You were bounced from place to place, always dreaming of a suburban home to call your own, with a family all of your own. As you have since, as you have since you were a child, you longed for a life of normality. You are tired of everything around you being turbulent and broken, so you search for joy in the mundane. Life is lonely at first, but fortunately you find love with another homeless sim. You have nothing, but it feels like absolutely everything with your partner by your side. You are a carefree, nature-loving and naive dreamer. Some may call you a hippie, but you call yourself happy. From the ground up, you must create. So, she has to create candles and fabricate her own furniture and such, search in dumpsters to make it by. Eventually, she will have the home she wants that she built by her own two hands. So, in her young adult years, she has to have a tiny home. Not only is this a tiny home, but it's a suburban tiny home. Your dream is finally realised. You will stay in this comfy, shoe, small shoe box size home for the rest of your life, growing in your garden, raising your children, and selling the things you make for an income at your local markets. So, when we are... Uh, doing the career path, we have to register as self-employed because she's going to be making money from everything that she makes and everything that she finds. Um, and she will sell them all in the local markets. So the goal for this is she has to find love while still homeless. So while she still only has her tent and her few little bits and bobs around. She has to name all of her children um, after nature. So it's nature-themed names. So anyone who has any ideas... Um, for our future children in this legacy, you can leave the names in the comments and we will put them into a po um, the spin wheel um, app and we'll be able to pick them at random and I will then shout out the person who gave the name suggestion. We must live in a suburban styled tiny home that you build cheat free for their entire life. Micro home for a young adult afterwards she can upgrade. So afterwards we can upgrade from the micro home up to the tiny home. I know like it's a hundred squares um, in the tiny home residential uh, thing. So when she starts having children, we can upgrade, but we have to have a beautiful garden. Foster a healthy garden. So the aim I was going to put on this is that we'd have one of every plant in all of the worlds. I just need to get a list of that uh, there. She has to be a plant parent. Now, when I first read this, I thought stuff like, you know, she had to have a cow plant. Um, but no, this um, she means this house is full of plants that all fit in 32 tiles which I think is actually pretty awesome because there's some beautiful mods that we can download for plants and then we can also have our outdoor plants and we can have our indoor plants it's going to be a plant uh, fanatics home Um, have at least three tattoos now I did give her her first tattoo and I gave her um. The reason I do this now is I gave her what we would call, it was her childhood dog. This is her little dog, Bullseye, and it was one of the things that she had to leave behind because her life was just too dramatic and turbulent and um, she could not feed um, Bullseye, so she had to leave Bullseye with her parents. But we will probably bring Bullseye in in later life um, when she has income to make sure that her pet wants for nothing. Um, she has to master the fabrication, handiness, and wellness skills. Now, this is going to be so easy living in the outdoors. Um, 
she loves the outdoors and she has the freaking trait. And then we were given the option that we can give them our a final trait by ourselves. Okay, so I gave her the maker. I gave her the maker one because um I think it's just makes it it's gonna make things easy like woodworking and making candles and juice fizzers and all that. So I thought that was the best one to, for us to do. And she has to complete the maker um aspiration. Now we will have to travel a lot in order for this because we don't have a recycling machine yet. We don't have a fabrication. But we do have the beautiful Evergreen Harbour that has a community space where it has the recycler machine. And I think there's a fabrication machine and everything as well. So that's going to make it um, easy for the beginning of it. And then we're going to work up to having a thousand simoleons and that's how much a fabrication machine costs. Um, be self-employed with the freelance simply crafted career. So that's awesome. And then she rarely wears makeup, but loves to dress casually. So this is what I've done for the outfits. Um, I actually, I don't think I actually gave her any makeup whatsoever in any of the outfits. Um, so like this is um, every day. I picked two outfits for every day. So we've got the dungarees set and everything for when she's doing fishing and foraging. And then this is when she starts to kind of more care for her garden as we go on in the game. I gave her one outfit for um, the formal, and it is just pretty much a basic, simple, um, you know, uh, outdoorsy green dress. And I did do a daisy garland in her hair. And guys, her name is actually Daisy. We have named her Daisy Whimsy. So um, daisies will be seen a lot. They gave her two workout outfits. One is for the wellness when we're doing meditation and yoga and then this is for when she goes jogging and mindful walks and stuff. Nightwear, I gave her two outfits. I gave her this just a simple little um, two piece and then I gave her a little bit of a warmer uh, long gown just you know for the colder nights. This is just one party outfit that I gave her because that's all she needs because she's not going to be partying all the time and this is literally when she's having a dinner party or you know when she invites over her homeless soulmate um, they're going to build a life together. I gave her a casual kind of upbeat uh, swimwear. This is her warm weather wear and I have her hair up high and a nice bow in it because it's a hippy dippy life. We love it. And then these, I gave her three winter outfits because, you know, I gave her one with like a dress and stuff like that for when it starts getting colder. And then this is for when it's um, she still lives in the outdoors or she hasn't gotten heating into the house yet. So we're going to build it gradually over time. And then, of course, I have this one for when we go foraging in the snow and going on adventures in the snow. We did need a little bit of a warmer um, cold weather wear. Uh, so there are her outfits. There's no makeup in any of them. It just looks like it. Um, she looks like she has them. How are we getting on with the fishing, my dear? Okay, we have got a few fish. Now, we are on... I did let it go on a day in sim life because of the fact that not a lot of things spawn when it's a new save file so now that i've let her kind of live in the world for over a day we've got lots of things that have spawned and i'm gonna let you stop fishing for now um why does this keep doing that just go and uh, thank you so the first thing i'm going to do like with her is i am going to have her going around scavenging not scavenging foraging um, so that we can actually start off a little bit of a collection. I did decrease her money down to 500 simoleons, as in she sold everything she had except for a tent, um, a campfire for when she needs to cook the fish that she catches, and then, of course, a little area for her to stay. And if, well, you know, like when her new friend comes, all right. Oh, she's cold. Okay, okay, okay. Girl, can we just kind of get you to... Um, I'm going to do true MC command sender just to get her into her uh, cold gear. Okay, so which one? I'm, I'm thinking we'll go for this one today because it's spring and it's not overly cold. Okay, so that should disappear soon. I've been having, all right, it's gone now. I've been having a little bit of trouble with some stuff um, at the moment. Uh, even if I have them next to fires and stuff like that, they're still saying that they're cold. So it's a little bit daunting. Um, so this is our world. I moved her into Windenburg because there was a beautiful little um, spot and the reason I picked this spot here is because it actually is next to the ocean so she can fish and um, 
I don't know, it can, we can't do anything else with that. But she can fish and stuff. And then there is a couple of houses around, but there's mostly like um, things for her to go and forage. So she can start building up a little bit of her very first garden. Um, the homeless sim, I did actually place a homeless sim into the same the, into the save file. And I also did like a little, um, kind of like, because he's homeless, but he'd be more advanced in the homeless um so he'd know how to keep warm, he would know what stuff would be um, the best to have while homeless for the weather. Um, so we will pop and we will meet him soon because this is going to be, um, at the start he's literally going to help her um, in the path of how to survive um, while trying to build all of your own, uh, your house and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm really, really excited about this uh, new challenge. Um, I've been, I know I've been playing like 100 baby challenge and stuff like that for a long time, but it's gotten to a point where I physically and emotionally, my head is just literally broken from the amount of children that you have to look after in Sims. And now they have updated it to the infants, so there's even a longer phase. Now, I like the infant phase, don't get me wrong, in my own personal save file, I do play it with the infants on it. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's more realistic um, to, you know, like, because they do go from babies to infants, then toddlers, and then kids. And, you know, it's amazing. So it is. Um, okay, we have caught in so much stuff already. Wow, okay, look at all of the snapdragons we got, and bluebells, and we got strawberries, and we got mushrooms. Now, some of the, the funds I will be using actually will only be for the garden at the moment. Um, I want to kind of, uh, we start building up her little micro home as we go along. Um, okay, so first things first, let's um, register her as self-employed. Right, how do we do that again? Okay, so it's business. Ah, there we go. And we have to register as... What was it again? Okay, freelance simply crafted career. Okay, what is your uh, title? Simply crafted. Okay, so simply crafted. Okay. Okay, so this is literally things that like you know you'd expect her to be she wants to have a suburban home but she also doesn't want to be tied down with um, a job that she is not going to love around all things home made there we go so we have now registered her as simply crafted um which is actually kind of pretty amazing because anyone who follows my vlog channel it's actually called simply shelly so that's actually pretty cool i love that so much Okay, so we actually have so many things um, gathered. I'm just giving it a quick pause. Where is our girl? Um, I need to download a mod or something that stops her going on the phone. So I'm just going to keep her hands busy and I'm just going to have her do a bit more fishing while we uh, see what we've got here. So we've got frogs. We've got the eggplant world frog. Ooh, it's rare. And we got the strip leaf frog. And I know you can breed these together uh, once every couple of hours. We got the hypno frog. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the leap frog for 10 simoleons and I'm going to keep the two uh, dearer frogs. Now we've caught some fish which we can actually use our campfire to cook them in. The problem is they can go foul and then you can no longer cook them. And that's, that's a problem. Okay, how is our needs? Okay, our needs are pretty good. Awesome. So the first thing I was going to think about doing is I do want to go to Evergreen Harbour and I want her to um, do some dumpster diving. So we're going to do our first travel. And for every time we travel, I'm going to deduct 10 simoleons off. Um, so like for Evergreen Harbour, to Evergreen Harbour and back. So like a return ticket for anyone who uses public transport. Um, so 10 euro return ticket. So 10 euro for every um, trip. So like we go to Evergreen Harbour and back it's 10 simoleons but if she decides if we or she decides while we're in evergreen harbor um that she wants to go somewhere else then um that is we're going to have to put, add an extra five simoleons onto that okay so this there's a community space there there's a community space here 
Now, I've not fiddled with any of the bills here, so I might not bring her straight to the, the recycle machine is in this one. Reduce and recycle landfill. And this one here, can we load? Okay, it's got natural well. So what we're going to do first is obviously she can't afford to go to the expensive places yet. So we will bring her to the smog filled one. And the minute she got here, she started coughing. Um, because we have to remember as well that this is not exactly <laughs> the best um, part of town. So we're going to go around here and already there's some people here. Um, da, 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 da. Dude, why? Okay. So first things first, we have, let's check out the community space projects. And we can't actually take part in these at all right now because we don't have any influence points. Okay. Can we do anything? Okay, we can dive for deals, sort out recyclables, sort out compostable, compostables. Oh my God, dude, get out. More tomorrow. You're rich. Mortimer is annoying. <laughs> okay, so um, in order for us to start creating things and everything, we do, of course, have to build us up. All right, so some of... Um, we have to work on handiness and wellness and the master the fabrication, um, which um, of course means achieve level three skill in fabrication and we need a fabrication machine for that. I did price them, they are a thousand simoleons. I can get one for the community space, but I'm going to see if I can look, um, find, excuse me, uh, find a nice kind of upgraded community space. On, oh my god, I am so sorry guys, on um, the gallery and that way we can uh, credit the person who created the new community space that we're going to be using for fabrication and that until we can afford to buy one at home. All right, we got some hounds toot, which is okay. Uh, Daisy's a freaking sim and freakinism is all about cost-free, waste-free living. I freaking love that idea actually. More to more... Can you go away from her? She's actually bored of you. You're a rich snob and she does not want to deal with you right now. She's all about being away from all that kind of life. Which, if we dived into her story a bit more, we would know why she thought that money was just not worth, you know, her happiness. And it's okay. Let's uh, check the latest action plans. Okay. There's no neighborhood action plan in action yet. Now let's get voting. Okay, so I suppose if we want to get some influence points, we have to talk to people. But, you know, right now, I want to get some of these bits and pieces that we can use to recycle. Can we recycle anything from our inventory? Oh my god, yes we can. Okay, I don't know if it works if I do it, you know, two at a time. But does this mean we can get, like, the first, uh, at least two uh, things done? Okay. I wonder if that counts. Okay. I've never actually done the Evergreen Harbour uh, side of this. Um, but, you know, at least with our girl Daisy, we can actually explore that a little bit more because I've never done this aspiration. I've never made candles in this or done juice fizzing or anything. I do the yoga and meditation, but I don't do it regularly. Okay, that's um, that counted as one. So can we do it again? We can because we do have another trash pile in our... Can we do that with this yet? No. I think it's every couple of hours you can do the dumpsters. So that's pretty cool. Is there any more dumpsters around here that we could actually work on? Oh, God. Oh, yes, there is. Let's die for deals. Sort out recyclables. Sort out compostables. Oh, who's this? Tina Tinker. Oh my god, I would love to make friends with you. Let's dive for ingredients, dive for uh, meals. Okay, does that count as the second one? Oh my god, we've already got two of the five done. Oh my god. Do you know what? I kind of quickly want to do a community space uh, upgrade, but I might wait till the next episode and we can just use these as our thing to do. <laughs> okay, so we've got discarded food and we've got another trash pile. 
we are so desperately going to need a shower. It'd be nice if there was a public space that the you know homeless people can go and shower and stuff. Ooh, we got Mandrake. Ooh. Daisy has discovered information about a golden egg. Okay, Daisy found a golden egg. A hundred simoleons. Oh my god. Yeah, if you like fitness, girl, you do you do fitness. Okay, that's that dumpster done. Have we got another one that we can actually Ah, 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 ah. Here you go. Oh, die for deals, girl. Die for deals. Sort out recyclables. Um, might have to bring you to a gym or something to get a shower. Okay, so we're just gonna have her. Whew. my game is stalling. Okay, so I have found. What are you? A soy plant. That's a weird one. Okay, so I have found um, a pretty good community space. I have pre-downloaded it, but I have not had a look at it. So I'm going to wait until the next episode for us to kind of have a look at it together. Um, so I think like a community space is like one of those places where, you know, you have, you know, bathroom facilities. There's like activities out in the garden and you have like people teaching you how to do certain things and then you've got like all of these kind of units any community centers i know have all of this kind of now there's very little in a community space but it's just like you think they'd have a little bit more especially in like say like an area like this it's very smog what you find a gullet of this metal beast daisy has guttered four somalians for her coffers for her coffee, I think you mean. Why is Nancy Landgrab coming over to talk to you? Okay, so we have some stuff we can use for the recycler machine. We'll wait until our next visit because it is getting late now and I kind of just want her to go home. So we are going to go home. Girl, go home. Thank you. She's walking like with, I may smell, but I found lots of awesome stuff today. So yay. We are home, girl. Go light your campfire and we're gonna have some fish. And you also need the bathroom. Ugh. Okay. So how about we just eat some of our fish first? And you know, like it's gonna be a while before we can afford a bath, but you can go and fertilize that bush. Okay, so my aim, long term aim for our beautiful little uh, suburban home that we're making is that the house be more up here and then we'd have a beautiful garden um at the front to the side and then we'd have like a pathway leading down to our um our home grown garden and of course like a little garden for the kids and stuff like that so i just um i want to kind of map out where we're going to do everything so i just need to see where i okay, saw so here for the snapdragons so i'm thinking like the flowers can all be together um so snapdragons and bluebells. Now, obviously, they're going to scatter everywhere when she plants. Um, I'm only going to plant that many for now. And then I was thinking, like, uh, or this end, we'd have things like, well, how big is our plot? Ooh, okay, I might have planted things a little too close together. So I'm going to have all of our strawberries here. Now, in real life, it would take strawberries more than two days to grow. Um, but in sim life, it's two days. <laughs> so the day I plant them and water them, and then like they have a whole day of just being nothing in the ground, and then miraculously, okay, so strawberries are there. So things like strawberries and grapes and things I'm going to have in the one area, and it'll come to a point where we'll have like um, like a little greenhouse, and we'll be able to have stuff like all year round and. My directions for this right now is just not great. Um, I won't put them all because I'm thinking more times than not we'll be having um, mushrooms and strawberries for. I got mandrake, mandrake root. Okay, so this root that is known for something to be shaped like a sim has strange properties when mixed with other ingredients. Now it's a bit early to be planting this, but that's definitely going to be in our autumn. And winter um, 
patch but we do have got a lot of stuff right now that we can I know you're grungy my love but you're you have a full tummy um you have a full tummy you're not going to die on me so we're good okay so and I know it's like 11 o'clock at night but your knees are actually okay except for the hygiene part but that's what's going to happen when we're digging in dumpsters girl that's what's going to happen when we're digging dumpsters uh, we do have a lot of stuff that we can um for tomorrow that are already popping up so like we like our little um log fire anyways and we have we get we can still um go around and we can still be foraging while we're waiting for the money to start popping in now one of the things we need we do need to um build these up a bit more but the aim is in the morning like obviously the garden will have to be resorted and everything but we'll that that's we'll do that in time um and still want to map out what our future garden is going to look like and everything um but long term goals we'd have one of every plant and one of every tree um i want to get an apple tree a pear tree a lemon tree there is other trees we can get to mango and coconut i think and when we have all them planted, we're going to water everything. Um, she is starting to get tired though now. And the grungy thing keeps on popping back up. So let's kind of have her go sleep. Um, we're going to have to forget about the log because it's gone out now. Okay. Can she die from grungy? I would love it if she could swim in this water. But we might have to go to Salani for her to swim. Okay. All right, we're gonna to have to get you to stop planting now, my love, because you are grungy as grunge can be. At least the mushrooms all came up in the right area, and even these did. Oh, that's mad. How come you didn't? Lifestyle in progress. Um, let's have a look and see what lifestyle we're after getting. Outdoorsy in progress. Okay, because I want that one. Outdoorsy. Is there another one? Um. You. There will be a few of these that will pop up because we are going to be like junk food fanatic, health food nut. Okay, that one we want where she can cook healthy meals to make alternative healthy recipes. Okay, so increase weight loss. Hmm. Our girl is going to be very healthy. She's not going to be very clean, but she's going to be very healthy. So, um, when she wakes up, I'm going to have her plant the rest of these. And have we got anything in our inventory? Alright, well, I'm just going to have her eat um, some mushrooms. I know it's not exactly healthy, but what's this? What is that? It doesn't tell me what it is. What is that? Everything else it tells me what it is, but we can't eat this. Why can't we eat this? Okay, well, anything we can't eat really we can use for recyclables, okay? Um, we have got a wild strawberry plant here. Hi, Caleb. Why are you trying to walk through me, Caleb? That's not very nice, Caleb. We have a wild strawberry plant here, and we're going to harvest the strawberries, and we're going to eat off the strawberries. Um, girl, can we actually die from being grungy? That is my fear right now, actually dying from being grungy. Hmm. Yeah, we can travel somewhere and find a gym or you know like someone that has a pool has anyone got a pool wait hold on have any of our neighbors got a pool um nope. see this is what i'd like if we could swim in the ocean uh, you know like in real life if you lived near a lake or a stream and you had absolutely no shower girl what are you doing relaxing um i love that you're relaxing but can we water all the plants uh or can we eat some of the strawberries you know like we're going to live off the land for a while girl oh you need go bathroom oh wait a minute have i got the okay you need go bathroom okay um the last thing i want is my girl to get I have wonderful. 
I have wonderful whims hooked up on this. So, oh my god. Just let me put my phone on silent. But, um, I have wonderful whims installed and that also, and, you know, slice of life stuff and that uh, all means that, like, I do have the the nice uh, period things that happen as well to my sims because I wanted to have realistic gameplay realistic gameplay and um, that was uh, that was it okay let's have a look at that your hunger is you know puzzler like I can deal with um, you being grungy I cannot deal with you being hungry so let's just eat a couple of strawberries do you not want to eat strawberries is that what's wrong with you Can you eat the strawberry? Thank you. And uh, let's eat another one. So like we've got this little yuck here. It's just okay if I'm eating a harvestable. I think the uh, when we start kind of um eating our own, uh you will be more inclined. Let's water the rest of all of our plants. Thank you very much. These are strawberry bushes. These are all strawberry bushes. We will have our own strawberries in the whole lot very soon, and we'll be making sure that they don't die. Um I wonder if we have enough, um, let's just kind of cross these, um, if we actually have enough, oh my, 160, right, you're 100 Swanians, all right, I'm going to sell the 25, okay, um, awesome, okay, so, right, okay, we are already at 6pm on the Tuesday, so, because it's going to be like the perfect time in the evening for her to go over and to meet um, some other homeless sims, I'm going to bring her over to meet, um, we're going to go over to this uh, lot, um, because I, I, put, I plopped it down there for a reason, and yeah, let's go meet our new dude to go and chat to Lex, but I wanted you guys to have a look at the lot. Okay, so this is, I found it on the gallery, and it's literally like, he has been homeless for a while, so he knows how to survive. Um, he knows how to look after himself, he knows how to survive in every aspect of every weather. Um, he has extra tents should anybody want to sleep who's had a rough night. He has a sink that is running off... Um, you know we're just gonna kind of use his sink <laughs> just to just to you know because I'm a little worried <laughs> about this but um yeah he is you know we can uh we can only roast marshmallows off this okay no thank you but yeah we are going to introduce ourselves to Lex Reese uh Lex has um been homeless for a little while now um he became homeless after he had a dispute with his father over you know um, what he wanted out of life. He did not want to be a doctor or anything like that. He wanted to be a gardener and grow his own plants and be able to survive himself without having that high society uh, way of life. And of course, oh, she's actually throwing away some rubbish from her inventory. Okay, wow, girl, look at you. But, um, she heard about the well-established homeless man um, who lived uh, near her and she wanted to go and meet him and uh, of course um, he is here he's a bigger child than she is because he also likes to play in puddles um, and yes he uses his the dumpsters well people pastors use his dumpsters um, as a way but he cooks out in the wild he only grills what he has in his inventory she's got some fish on sticks so we could actually grill um yeah he will not mind um so yeah Lex is going to be a big substantial kind of person in her life he is going to show her how to get by and these two are going to end up together because this is the reason I brought him here. He, it had to be another homeless saying that she fell in love with. And um, is he going to go out to her? Oh no, they're chatting together. So they are. she's making fish on sticks. Okay. So they're going to become fast friends. He's going to teach her the way of the world. 
and of course once she has her garden in underway she's going to invite him over and he is of course going to be um the the bestest friend and probably the only friend she's ever going to really care about uh, excuse me don't be mean to him um Ooh. Should I have her do a scope and see if she's actually attracted to him? Attractiveness. Um, I do kind of want them to have like deep discussions and talk about their hobbies and their aging. Uh, discuss. Oh, and things about gardening. He just doesn't like comedy. Oh, that's awesome. that's kind of cool. Although you think like with her her middle name being called Whimsy that she'd be very whimsical, but she's more. I want to eat from the land and I'm um, from saving simoleons while cooking meals on the cheap okay self-sustaining from cooking with the simple living lot challenge oh okay I actually freaking love this um they're talking he has a piercing and I don't remember him having a piercing but hey you know whatever floats you about um okay so they are talking about gardening and things like that, and he is, all right, let's just uh, enthuse about interests. Okay, she is tired, um, so he is saying, like, well, look, you know, if you're tired and you don't want to travel back tonight, I go, like, I have got a spare tent, you are more than welcome to go and use it. Um, we look out for each other um, in this world because the world is uh, crazy enough um without turning against each other so yeah if you want to stay no problem i have got a spare tent and she's going to say well thank you so much um lex can you please put something warmer on you are going to freeze you're supposed to be teaching her about <laughs> you know um how to survive in different weather conditions you and every single every outfit is the same oh i freaking love that She's going to go get a glass of water. Um, just, I you know, brush your teeth because hyg yeah, health, um, teeth hygiene is grand. Okay, so she's going to head off to sleep. She's going to, obviously, she's tanked him and everything, and she's just going to head off to sleep because it's been a very, very long day for her. Uh, yeah, isn't he so sweet? She let him sleep in one of his tents. Um, what's going on here? What, 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 what's this? Who's this? What's, what? What the frick? No wonder he's so in tuned with um life. He has island spirits. And it's just like an everyday occurrence with him. This is freaking cute. This is freaking cute. I don't know how our girl Daisy would deal with it, but this is cute. So yeah, oh my god. So Lex is pretty in tuned with the spirit but you know what guys i am actually going to end the episode here because it has actually been a, a very eventful first episode of our beautiful whimsy uh, legacy challenge so we have met lex the other homeless sim in our area he is teaching us about how to sustain on very simple things like of course you see here he's got a cooler where you can grab granola and stuff like that he communes with the island spirits um He's going to have to teach Daisy about, you know, waste not, want not. Um, but yeah, he is a self-established homeless man. And he is definitely, definitely the person we want to help us, you know, gain our beautiful little suburban house, building it from the, um, literally from the ground up. So you guys, this has actually been a very, very good first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed our new Whimsical Legacy Challenge. And if you're all new here, make sure you click the subscribe button so you're told every time I upload a new video. And guys, if you do have any suggestions in any future nature-themed names for our future children, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys all in another episode.